Hi, this is Nicholas from Bmagic France and I'm glad to introduce Suprema object for Archicad. This object will allow you to complete your model for everything that is about waterproofing and roofing. All of the roofing objects work in the same way, with type, nature, dimensioning setting that are easily modifiable, following the manufacturer's recommendations. All of those elements have two editing modes, a manual one and an automatic one, through the Archicad accessories. Let's start with the manual mode, which has also numerous 2D edition modes within it, which I'll explain in this video. All those modes will allow you to manually edit your object's attributes. Let's then choose the slabs on pad object. In the Archicad way, you can create templates of your objects with predefined settings like in the current example, those gray slabs on pads with already defined slope, height, and insulation thickness. Then I can place my object into my plan. It is now inserted with an array of information gathering the data of my waterproofing layers and attitude values that I can hide if necessary. I can obviously modify the object setting after the fact, here by editing its form by polygon edition. Once done, some aspects are displayed at the corners and middles of the polygon segment. I can now position the spot in my model for it to fit the existing geometry with a couple of clicks. You can also see that the altitude values are dynamically updated with each change. This is a nice feature which is only displayed in the plane view and prevent the user from using sections at the same time that the roof is edited in the plane. We can now visualize this in 3D view here with the wireframe mode where we can notice night detail because we can perfectly see the paths beneath the slabs. After the slab's geometry, we can now edit a new attribute of this object. This time we'll edit the slope by selecting the slope editing mode in the object's properties. An arrow is then displayed in the plan. It is movable and you have to place it at the lowest point of the slope. I can then change the direction of the slope by pivoting the symbol accordingly and I can also graphically edit the incline value. It is constrained to follow the manufacturer's recommendation. Here there is a maximum percentage of 5%. In 3D view I can now see that this modification made my geometry overflow. I can simply modify it back in its properties panel for it to be logical with my project. After the slope attribute, I can now edit the tiling of the cover by switching to tiling edit mode following the same process again. Similarly to the slope attribute, an arrow symbol now appears into my plan view. It can be moved around at will and more precisely to an origin, usually a corner, which is better to uh, change. I can then pivot the arrow so the tiling follow dynamically. Finally, I can edit the edges of my terrace or roof following the same way previously seen. And this edition mode is called Edge Editing and allows the modification of the edge of this object's volume. As later in 3D view, we can see that the paths are feasible because there is no obstacle. Back in plan view, in this new edition mode, I can pivot the newly displayed hotspot at 180 degrees for them to fit my project. Now in 3D view, the object is modified and the sides are now closed by a fascia, modeling at the same time a proper upstand. Here is how the manual mode works. It is a mode that allows grid freedom in modeling with Suprema roofs and terrace. Let's now use the automatic mode thanks to the Archicad accessories. Accessories are free goodies that are downloadable on the editor's website. Once installed, they implement uh, new features for slabs, walls, and uh, in our case, roofs. Let's then start with an existing roof, whether it is a Suprema one or not. By selecting it, I can go in the drawing tab, the extras menu, and the roof accessory tool within the accessory submenu. It is important to remember that those goodies are only usable in 3D and plain view. Therefore, the automatic mode can only work in those views. Once OK, I select the Suprema roof I want to implement and if necessary, assign it setting fitting my project. When I click OK, the software will use the existing geometry to design a roof. 
in plain view we can see that the roof is the one I wanted and that I display several information like names and thicknesses of the waterproofing layers. I can see the detail of the object in sections where the pads are visible, same with the timber tiles, the insulation and the waterproofing. In this example we can notice that the complex is a little too high compared to the abstance so I can lower the height of the pads if necessary. I can also lower the thickness of the insulation if that helps and above all if it fits my project. All that according to the recommendation of the manufacturer. Finally, let's take a look at the whole 3D model so we can see the many faces of the Suprema object, whether they are for ACCAD or Revit by the way. They can be used for scalable roofing on art, for roof with decking or resin, or roof on pads or simply on membrane complexes. All of this depending on the chosen object. On this part of the building, we can also see the same object type with different settings. Here, if I wish to modify the finish with an interesting paving, the model is instantaneously modified. Voila, what is quite easily possible to do with Suprema objects. Of course, all of the objects have beam data and have every beam object categories and international classification available on the portal. That is all, and thank you for listening to me. See you soon on beamoject.com.